For today's video, we will be talking about bronzedilary acid and bases. For bronzedilary acid is a proton donor, so it gives off the hydrogen plus. A bronzedilary base is a proton acceptor, so it accepts hydrogen plus. So for example, if we have this um, problem, Cl plus water and we were asked to draw the products for this <clears throat> so here we notice something the first step you want to do is start from the water with the lone pair and we draw this going to the hydrogen on this okay <clears throat> so basically this lone pair is grabbing this hydrogen and bringing it back to it for water to make uh, three hydrogens, okay? So basically, it's like a trade, okay? Gives off a lone pair and, and brings the hydrogen back, okay? We'll see that. Um, right when it does that, the H plus, it's uh, electron, bonding electron, it goes away. It gives away to this chlorine right here. So the product for this will be, instead of chlorine having three lone pairs, it would have a total of four lone pairs, which make it negative. This is because we got an extra electrons from the hydrogen uh, by uh, giving it off by losing it. Okay. Now water instead of having instead of having two hydrogens, it will have three hydrogens. Okay. Only one lone pair. This would have a plus plus charge. This is because it lost an electron, so it's more positive now. This chlorine gain electrons so it's more negative now okay and so we can determine that when you give off the hydrogen H plus this is the acid right here and then we have the base right here now look very carefully the slum pair gave off the electrons over here it didn't gave it didn't give a hydrogen a H plus so that doesn't make this the acid this makes the acid because the hydrogen over here, the arrow is going to the chlorine. That means the electron. It gave off the H plus to the chlorine. So that's why in this um, equation we have chlorine being the acid while water being the base. Okay. Let's try another example. If we have this structure right here. We have ammonia right here, NH3 is added to with and we were asked to draw the products for this and determine the acid and base in this problem. So the first things first, we see the lone pair on NH3 and we go directly and grab that hydrogen. So this hydrogen is like a trade-off again. We're giving the lone pairs, but in return, we get the hydrogen. So ammonia, instead of becoming NH3, it will become NH4, right? So in other words, let me draw out the molecule. So we have NH4. Same thing as this, okay? So I grabbed it and, and tried off with the lone pair. Now, this right here is the same thing as this, okay? The bond line, right? So right when this ammonia took this hydrogen, this hydrogen's bonding electrons gave off to the NO3, okay? So it gave off to the NO3. This, in fact, <clears throat> would make NO3 minus, okay? You can put the lone pairs on here like this. You know, it is possible. You can do that. But um, you don't really need to because the negative charge uh, gives it away anyways. Okay, so it turns like that. So in this problem, the acid is the NO3, HNO3. Okay, this is because 
the H plus is giving away to the NO3, so this makes it, whenever you give off the, uh, the, the hydrogen, that is the acid, and whatever accepts it, because look on this, it accepts the hydrogen over here, so this is the base. Try another example. If we have H three Okay, and we were asked to draw the products for this. Um, for this again, uh, NH3 it does have a lone pair. Sometimes it's not shown, but I'm going to show you for this. So we would start from the lone pair and grab that hydrogen over here. So the trading is an exchange for this lone pair for this hydrogen, and this hydrogen gets back this NH3. In this case, would be NH4 because it grabbed that hydrogen. So adding a hydrogen. So make, this makes it more um, positive. Okay. Now, this hydrogen, this is the same way of, of this, drawing, drawing this structure right here. Right when this got attached or taken by the NH3, its bonding lone pairs went to the PO4. Okay. So this was H3, so instead of having it H3, it lost one hydrogen, making it H2. Okay, now it has the PO4, okay, and this will stay as a negative charge. Okay, so in this case, The PO4 is the acid because it gave off the H plus, so this is the acid in this case. And the base is the ammonia because it accepted it because it has four, uh, it has an extra hydrogen. Got the extra hydrogen, the H plus, so this is the base right here. Okay, let's do one more example. If we have this problem right here, and we were to draw this product of it. So again, the PO4 has low pairs. I just didn't draw the Lewis structure for it. So this, I'll go over here and grab that hydrogen, right? Again, this hydrogen, I didn't show it in here, but it's connected to the NO3. Right when you get that H, uh, the H taken by the PO4, okay, the electron of it goes to the NO3, which will give NO3 a negative charge. Right here, it stays neutral, so it'll be NO3. Uh, no, uh, not positive. Not positive, but negative. Okay. Now, right when you do that, let's write this uh, other one right here, the NO2. Okay. The sodium stays the same because we didn't do anything. Okay. But now this time, instead of having one hydrogen, we have two hydrogens because we grabbed it and it has a PO4 at the end and so this is the outcome again the acid in this case is the NO3 because it took the high it get I got the accepted a, um, the proton donor for this actually the proton donor and the base for this is the 
NO2 HPO4 because I accepted the hydrogen, as you can see, an extra hydrogen here. And this is how you do the bronze acid base.